please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. One class SVM, support vector machine, is a machine learning algorithm used for outlier detection. In this tutorial, I'll guide you on how to modify the labels of the target variable in one class SVM in Python. This is particularly useful when you want to identify outliers or anomalies in your data set. Make sure you have the necessary libraries installed. You can install them using the following commands. Now, let's import the required libraries in your Python script or Jupyter Notebook. For this tutorial, let's create a simple data set with normal and anomalous data points. By default, one class SVM assumes that the majority class is normal, and the minority class is anomalous. However, you can modify the labels to specify which class you want to treat as anomalous. In this case, we'll consider the anomalous class as class minus 1. Now that the model is trained, you can make predictions on new data. In this tutorial, you learned how to modify the labels of the target variable in one class SVM for outlier detection. This can be useful when you want to explicitly define which class you consider as anomalous. Make sure to experiment with different parameters and data sets to optimize the performance of your one class SVM model. Chat GPT. Certainly. Before we delve into the tutorial, let's briefly discuss the one class SVM, support vector machine, algorithm. One class SVM is a machine learning algorithm that is often used for anomaly detection. Unlike traditional SVM, which is designed for binary classification, one class SVM is trained on only the normal class, and its objective is to identify deviations or anomalies from this normal class. In the context of modifying labels for the target variable in one class SVM, it's important to note that one class SVM inherently assumes that the majority of the data is normal, and anomalies are the minority. Therefore, the target variable usually consists of one class, normal, labeled as 1 and outliers or anomalies as minus 1. Let's walk through the process of modifying labels for the target variable in one class SVM with a Python code example. In this step, we will create labels where 1 represents normal data and minus 1 represents anomalies. Now, we will train the one class SVM using the modified labels. Once the model is trained, you can use it to make predictions on new data. In this example, the one class SVM model is trained to identify anomalies as instances with a predicted label of minus 1. You can customize this code for your specific data set and use case. Ensure that you have a good understanding of the data and the problem you're solving when setting hyperparameters for the one class SVM model. Chat GPT.